Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a bonus vlog. This is my Mexico road trip part two. If you haven't seen part one yet, you can go back and start there to check out our amazing road trip through the Yucatan and Quintana Roo. So after our beautiful month exploring the coast, we were headed inland to Mexico City. But before heading out, we of course had to take advantage of all the amazing airport lounges. Mexico City is one of my favorite cities in the world. I've visited it quite a bit, but I'm trying to make a habit of going there every year because it brings me so much joy. It is a city bursting at the scenes with culture, cuisine, museums, art, nature, and so many amazing good vibes. This part of our trip was split into two parts. We spent two nights in the Centro Histórico in a hotel that we booked with credit card points, and then we spent the rest of our time at an Airbnb in La Condesa. The Centro Histórico is very much a concrete jungle with lots of skyscrapers and old historic buildings, whereas La Condesa is a nature and tree-lined neighborhood with lots of cafes, restaurants, and parks to walk through. One of our highlights of staying in the Centro Historico was going to this restaurant, Cafe Tacuba. It is a beautiful restaurant that actually used to be a woman's hospital. It has just amazing decor and delicious, authentic food. It's one of the restaurants we went to where we noticed there weren't a ton of tourists. It's mostly populated with locals and we got this delicious four course meal for $17. One of my favorite parts about this restaurant was their live mariachi music. They have live music every night and you get to enjoy your meal in this beautiful restaurant and be serenaded with the lovely music. <laughs> The next part of our trip was incredibly special and had been on my bucket list for ages. We rented a car and road tripped four hours north of Mexico City to visit these very famous and incredible hot springs in Hidalgo. A lot of people have asked me what it's like to travel off the beaten path in Mexico. I've always enjoyed taking trips like this to hard to reach places and back in 2018 I did a solo backpacking trip through the south of Mexico for two months. I've had nothing but beautiful experiences and wonderful memories in this country, but I have definitely picked up tips and tricks on how to stay safe as a woman traveling alone. So if you're interested in hearing more about those tips, leave me a comment down below. After driving through the desert, we arrived in this beautiful oasis of Tolantongo. This is a national park filled with waterfalls, streams, and hot springs that cascade down the mountain. We spent the weekend canyoning and exploring all the beautiful natural pools and taking in the beautiful sights. It was also a great place to take in local culture. While the park was really busy, it was filled entirely with local families, Mexican families camping, enjoying the summertime and the nature, and we were really some of the only tourists in the area. I really can't recommend this place enough. It was one of the most beautiful experiences that I've had in Mexico, but if I could suggest anything, try going during the week because on the weekend it was really busy. By Sunday night, it was time to head back to the city to start another week of working remotely. Though I was working full time during the week, I had plenty of time in the afternoons, evenings, and weekends to take in all of the beautiful sights and culture in Mexico City. If you're looking for somewhere to work remotely, Mexico City should be at the top of your list. It has great infrastructure, the cost of living is very reasonable, and it truly is a cosmopolitan city. You can dive deep into Mexican culture and cuisine, but you'll also find artists, chefs, and business people from all over the world who are calling Mexico City home. From the dozens of beautiful parks and greenery, world-class museums, beautiful and cozy cafes, music, dance, theater, it is bursting at the seams with culture. 
One of the hidden gems we found was El Circulo Teatral. This is a local theater that runs shows seven days a week and has lots of provocative, funny, heartwarming, and dramatic shows. Of course, if you ask anyone who's been to Mexico City what the highlight of their trip was, they'll probably talk to you about the food. The cuisine is really top-notch, and this restaurant was no exception. We actually went back and ate at Lardo three times during our trip. It's an Italian-Mexican fusion restaurant, most famous for its breakfast. The pastries, the hot dishes, the teas, the coffees are all amazing ways to start your day exploring in Mexico City. One of our favorite things to do when we travel is sit at the bar when we go to restaurants because this gives us the opportunity to see how our food is being prepared, chat with the locals that are running the restaurant, and really learn more about the food that we're eating. All in all, it was an incredible trip and we're super excited to come back to Mexico City in a few months for Dia de los Muertos. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you're interested in following me on my travels through California and Italy this summer. And until next time, bye!